Well, as you probably know by now, Dave is on his way home after a busy weekend, right? We sent him out to California, said, here's 50 bucks, no credit cards, no 1,000 mile gift trips. You gotta figure out how to get there. And he's in Albuquerque, New Mexico. But we still don't know everything he had to go to get through to uh, get there. And how you doing, Dave? How's it going? Uh, Harry, the uh, mice that are operating our computer system here have slowed down for the morning to take a breakfast break, so I can't hear you. But let me just tell you something. It was very, very cold sleeping outside in Vegas, but the gamble of going there paid off thanks to my new best and closest friends who were able to get me hundreds of miles closer to home. After spending the night sleeping at the pool in Las Vegas, I woke up grungy. One of the problems with not having a uh, hotel room is not having a shower. Uh, and I could use some refreshing, so I'm just gonna... Uh. Fresh as a daisy now. Ready for day two. Twitter has become my lifeline, and through it, I met a couple who offered me a ride in an RV. I'm Dave. How are you? Greg and Jackie Burnett sold their home in Maine and bought this RV. It's now where they live, and it's now how they travel. Do you ever miss having one place and one home, or do you really enjoy this nomadic kind of existence of being able to pick up and land in a place and go someplace else? I don't miss the house. I don't miss the house. I miss people back there, but it's wherever we park the rig. What's the biggest surprise you've had living life on the road? Just that how nice everybody that we've run into is. And yeah, there's culture shocks in some places, but everybody is willing to help you and ease you into the areas. It's great. Greg and Jackie have been so great. They're actually allowing me to stay in their second bedroom tonight, which is wonderful. The only problem is the second bedroom isn't isn't actually in the Winnebago. It's hitched to it. It's in this, it's in this Jeep. So, uh, good night. Um, let me tell you something about my condition right now. Uh, I am cold. Um, I have that stuff in your eyes that it takes weeks seemingly to wipe away. But look at these hosts, look at these people. I wouldn't trade my new friendship with them for anything in the world. Of course, other than a propane heater. <laughs> but we're having a great time. After being dropped off at the Flying J truck stop, I asked around looking for a rig traveling east. Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to get to Albuquerque. Oh, you'll take me? I gotta lift to Albuquerque! I gotta lift to Albuquerque! Riding a big wig through Arizona was like being a kid again. Breaker 1-9, uh, looking for the best fuel price uh, near Albuquerque. Wondering if anyone has that info. What do you love about being on the road and, and seeing all of this? Just seeing different things. and uh, Even if you go through the same road every day, every day is going to be different. Dave's off now from Albuquerque to his next location. And he's there. The balloon festival's going on. Yeah, you could it's not go bad. up in a balloon and, you know, prevailing that. winds, you could get pretty far. That looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. And what nice people he's run into. Really good. I know, right? I keep saying, don't be so nice to him. I know.